Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day number three of Vlogmas. So today is a pretty simple one for you. I'm just going to do a DIY silverware holder. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is a super simple one for you guys today. Um, tomorrow I plan on doing the Christmas house tour. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it and let's get started. For this you're going to need a glue gun, scissors, a can or a jar, ribbon, and any accessories you want on your jar. Um, for this I used a recycled fruit can but you could use like a mason jar as well. So first thing you're going to do is take your jar or can and your ribbon. Take your ribbon and wrap it around the can. When you're doing this keep in mind that you are going to want the ribbon to be able to slip off but you also don't want to to be too big that it's going to fall off on its own so kind of measure it out and then do like a little check similar to what I am doing in the video to make sure it's not going to slide off by itself but still be able to come off at the end of the season all right so next grab those scissors and cut the ribbon to the size that you're gonna need for wrapping it around your jar or can and then take that piece of ribbon and measure it out for however many jars or cans that you are going to be doing with this project. I did two more. I'm going to do my forks, spoons, and knives. When you have all the ribbon that you want cut, go ahead and grab your can or jar, wrap the ribbon around it, and then go ahead and hot glue that ribbon onto your can. Once you've pressed the hot glue onto the ribbon and it's dried some and cooled some, go ahead and do another test to make sure you can get it off and on easily and have it not slide on you still. Next I would make sure that the seam of your ribbon and the seam of the can are going to be towards the back so then when you go to glue on your accessories the seams are hidden and you can't see them when you're going to decorate. Grab your glue gun again and glue on any accessories that you are putting on. In this case, I'm just doing a simple bow in the same pattern of ribbon, but I also did some with some glitter Dollar Tree snowflakes as well as you saw at the beginning of the video. So once the hot glue on the ribbon is pretty much dry, go ahead and give it a quick test and wiggle it around to make sure the hot glue didn't go through the ribbon and get stuck to the can as well. So that's all there is to that. It's just a pretty simple DIY for your kitchen, bathroom, whatever you want to use these for. Um, and it gives that extra pop of Christmas wherever you put it as well. Mm -hmm. 